Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some six star rank one unawakened champions and we're just going to do a demo and see how these six stars uh, actually handle Realm of Legends against the Winter Soldier. We're going to do like normally. Uh, we're going to do 20% for each champion and we're going to start off with the first champion, Nightcrawler. And as you can see, Nightcrawler is unawakened. He is a six star rank one. And uh, these champions uh, are highly underrated, in my opinion. As you can see, Nightcrawler is handling uh, Winter Soldier with no problems at all. He is actually able to push him to that SP2 and actually take no damage from the SP2 because of that evade factor that he has built into him. Uh, he's great for defense, obviously, but I'm telling you, man, this guy is very, very good for the damage output he, he does and the bleeds uh, on the offensive front. Again, no problem there he's gonna evade this and you don't have to dex you don't have to do anything fancy you just hold that block and the, the evade is going to handle itself with nightcrawler so he's very easy to play so for newer members uh newer uh players to the game uh, when you first start off this is a very easy champion to to work with He's great for your defensive team, but he's also very good as an offensive champion. Takes very little damage, giving you a much larger health pool. Because, again, he took him down to 20%. 20, 20%. We're going to stop that fight. And now we're going to go into the second fight, which is Iron Fist. And I pulled this Iron Fist only uh, earlier this week. And again, Iron Fist is absolutely... Um, Amazing, and this is an, an unawakened Iron Fist, but the idea, look at that armor break, and he's a six star, again, wrecking havoc on a Winter Soldier with those um, armor breaks. He's doing quite a lot of damage. We're gonna take this uh, Winter Soldier down to 60% with uh, Iron Fist. And as you can see, he holds block pretty good. He takes a couple um, 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 bits of damage there. So his block proficiency is not as good as uh, I would say Nightcrawler as we just saw. But then again, Nightcrawler evades most of the hits. And there you go. He's taking a very little damage, but the damage that he takes compared to the damage output that he gives, I mean, it's a lot of critical rating uh, hits going on there. Um, this guy is pretty good. He's very, very underrated in my opinion. So I believe that this guy could put so much uh, armor breaks and break you down. And if he's awakened, he's going to be even better when he's awakened. But look at that. That's his heavy. Didn't quite connect there. But again, he's just breaking this guy down to 60%. Is SP1 does some crits and we're gonna take him down to 60% here we're gonna take a hit so he does he is able to take some hits and he there you go 4400 crit rating on that heavy attack so winters uh, not, uh, winter soldier does take a lot of damage with uh, uh, from even this uh, iron fist so third third matchup six star rank one again all of these champions are rank one miles morales spider-man and i'm telling you if you like nightcrawler for evades this guy is an absolute beast when it comes to evade he has that weakness on his sp1 that he applies but i'm telling you you hold the block you parry uh, and again, look at him evade here. Boom, boom, boom. Takes absolutely no damage from any flying objects, bullets in this case. So again, Miles Morales, six star, unawakened, absolutely doing devastating damage. His SP2 fired off. Absolutely no crits on that one. Uh, we missed out on the crits. But that's the AI doing that. And again, 
He is wrecking this winter soldier who be gonna be taken down to 40%. We taking very little damage. Um, winter soldier, again. We're gonna take the evade. Again, I'm not dexing, I'm just holding the block. And this champion, just like Nightcrawler, is actually doing all of the evading for himself. Uh, again, very good champ for newer members, newer players that is not quite used to dexterity or parry and all that great stuff. Uh, this is a very easy champion to use. He does a lot of damage. His SP2 does a lot of damage. He has weakness on his SP1 that he applies. Again, the evade is working perfectly and we're almost down to 40%. And there you go, a heavy attack, a heavy attack doing about four to five thousand K in damage. SP2 finally connected with one crit. But again, the evade, this is the thing, the evade. So anytime you fight in champions uh, that fire off those, um, those bullets, uh, this is the guy for you. He is actually very good at evading. And then at fire off that SP1 again. We're gonna show you one more time. He hits the evade and then we bring him down to 40% and we're gonna go on to the next champion. Fantastic. Let's quit out of this fight and we're going into the, what is it? The fourth fight, which is Abomination. I got him two weeks ago. So think about it, Abomination two weeks ago, Iron Fist this week. Uh, one might say not the luckiest spins or not the best six star champions but i'm telling you man look at that 5000 crit rating um this guy just feels very easy to play he's just an absolute tank much like the hulk he's just doing a lot of damage uh he's he, we're gonna take with the soda down to 20 percent but he's so tanky and so easy his heavies do uh some nice crits there and he's not awakened, so he doesn't have that uh, poison ability to the fullest that he that he's capable of. But again, he's very tanky, he takes a lot of hits, and it's not to be compared with the four or five star. This six star is absolutely uh, really, really strong. He's a tough tank, and he does damage. So if you're a newer member, you have less champions, you got this rust on, on your roster, uh, uh, this guy could easily be used in Alliance Quest. He could use uh, in Alliance War for Attack. Uh, uh, so these six star champions could really be placed anywhere and be very, very useful. Let's fire off his SP3, see what it does. Winter Soul is at 28%, 27%. So he took him down to full percent, which is not bad with an SP3 against Winter Soldier in this realm of legends i've seen some champions take them take him down about two percent but mostly uh one percent is the average for sp3 again he gets that fury and he crits gonna fire one sp2 we did not crit on that one fury is active again though but as you can see, he's coming down to 22% here. The game is a little bit laggy again. And that's been a problem for the last couple of weeks, very laggy. And then that's 20% and we're gonna finish off that fight right there. We're gonna quit out of that and we're gonna come in with the last champion, Ant-Man. Now I got Ant-Man about uh, several months ago and um, he is very useful when you have the ghost synergy and stuff like that. But have you guys ever tried Ant-Man or for attack? I mean, uh, defense is a tank, obviously. This one is not awakened. So again, six star, unawakened, rank one. But this guy is an absolute beast. Again, very easy to play, very tanky. He has a lot of health. So for newer members, especially, you guys can use this guy and never mind about health or getting and taking a couple hits. He does it all. He has a great parry. You have poison on the SP2. And again, that poison just works its way through Winter Soldier. 
and this match is going to be finished faster than you think he's an absolute tank and when he's awakened he has that ability to deflect uh, there you go crit crit 3200 crit we did not crit on the last hit there but he's critting on this basic attacks he's able to take a lot of damage because his health pool is one of the highest in the game there you go and then this winter soldier is going to be in the bin we're gonna use that sp2 to poison him hopefully uh, we don't have any here we go crit 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 on every single basic hit doing 3000 damage on this okay we, we, when we apply the flat fatigue and we fire off the sp2 we are going to do a lot of damage with poison obviously so we need to fatigue him uh we're gonna fire off the sp3 to see what it does compared okay see sp3 didn't even go down one percent but this is where it happens he's gonna finish him off here now fatigue once you build the fatigue charges there and you fire off sp2 he is going to be poisoned and he is going to be damage over time done so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button it really helps if you like the video as well to the channel um hit the notification bell so you get follow-up um emails uh to re alert you when a new video is uploaded onto the channel i appreciate all the subscriptions and again guys work less play more enjoy life and i hope you enjoyed the video have a fantastic day bye guys